in this aspect, they're probably the Cadillac. Go ahead, Mason. He was thinking, he, he said someone drilled that in there. <laughs> it's hard. It, I think so too. Again, why is it so perfectly right? Wrong? I know that's what I was thinking. And there was no piece of anything on top of it, no. keeping the dirt out. No. Okay. Maybe. Well, I don't know. But we were shoveling there, and it just kind of happened. It, it's possible, but I've never seen around one like that. But I've seen some strange stuff yeah. over the years. <laughs> that we were talking about it last last night too. Like that's too perfect to be. Yeah. And this is their new tilt sense with the. Uh, built-in level okay We're running a lot of this with newer homes plumbers so not, using no that's a seam right there is that yep what, yep so. it's a hub plumbers using three inch which we see more clogs in three inch than anything mm -hmm. but they're putting it on eighth per foot for 50 60 70 feet runs yeah it's hitting wise and it's going upstream and downstream instead of coming in making a combination to change velocity and sure so we had to get this I mean we're going into Three quarter mil right stop right there a little bit. I mean that's not terrible. And what is that? That's probably a rock or something. Yeah, that the pipe was laid on or froze in and pushed in. Oh, okay. Keep pushing. That's not enough to cause any issues yet. Have you ever used the Milwaukee stuff or no, not yet. Yeah. Their, their price point for new equipment is yeah. really, really expensive. And honestly, I think Milwaukee is also owned by TLG or TGL. It's the same company mm -hmm. that owns Milwaukee. It's rigid. And yeah. I think they make a better hand tool. And there's where the sump pump is tying in. Oh, that's right at the end now? No. Nope. Now we're going up to the gutter, the line that you guys cut when you put the generator in. Okay. Because uh, every wholesaler, they're advertising Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Yeah. Stuff. It's like, holy cow. Some guys I, I talk to online and know they they love the the battery operated stuff and I I see it has a future. Yeah. But the issue I have with it is stop right there. There's where you guys cut through it. But that is but that's way up by the generator. Yeah, we went that way. We're just oh, doing the want, whole. We're looking at the whole system you since we're here. We're wide off. Then. Yeah, yeah. It's a straight shot. Keep going. But where does that one connect in with this main run then? Oh, the sump pump. That was that first Y. There was a Y a little further back. Oh, okay. And now we're turning up to the front gutter. You got to start putting the batteries into the equation. and Yeah, right. We run a lot of rigid 9 amps. If you buy them without the tools, they're like 300 bucks a piece. Yeah. And we use them daily. You get six months out of them. <laughs> That's honestly a drop in the bucket, but I don't know if you'd be able to push up. Oh, maybe you will. There's your gutter. That's fine. But that's way up. That that green is way up by the generator, yep, right? Yep, yep, yep. Because we only replace a piece yep. like that. With the, with the rigid stuff, when you buy them with the tools, they give you a lifetime warranty on the battery. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Surely you'll see the Y, George. We're okay. close here someplace. I'm recording this too, so. Right there. Oh, I see. Okay, now. Gotcha. Pull back to that little dimple. We'll mark it, but I don't. I mean, if you're doing repair, it makes sense to just fix it now. Because eventually that will pop through. Mm -hmm. When I have no idea, sure. but if you're here wasting the man hours to dig that little spot up, just re just place that one. Huh? Yeah, just dig it up and replace a little spot. Mm -hmm. And but it don't look it doesn't look like it's plugged in this one. It's just plugged down that way. That guy. Right. Yeah. Which is good. Mm -hmm. See how different it looked on the big camera versus the small camera, Mason? It looked really huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some doctor sees when he's operating on you. <laughs> Shows that scope up there. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. 
the church has to give for that, right? Do you have a thought? Mm-hmm. That should, uh, it's not leaking in there, but... No, but it's, it's embedded, you know, yeah. so it's sunk down. Pull it out and we'll go the other way. Yeah. Somehow it's sunk down around it or something. Pretty cool stuff though. Well, don't we have to? You have to have it. Yeah, right. And we get into some real humdingers with new builds and everybody gets mad and Plumber didn't lay it right. <sighs> <laughs> I, I can't say that because I wasn't there. Right. The most probable cause besides not enough pitch is the guy putting the basement floor in, walking, Yep. Striking, stepped on it. Right, yep. Sure. Whether that's actually the case or not, I don't know. Right. But the only time I can ever point fingers is when there ain't enough pitch. Yeah. And we've that, seen so that much. Tell you the pitch, though, does it? This does, yes. Oh, it does, really? Yes. That's what this little uh, line on the bottom here is. It's got a tilt indicator in it. That is pretty cool. So it tells you so many inches per foot? Or it tells you degrees. You want me to move the reel a little different spot for you? No, oh, sorry. All right, there's a belly. All right, there's another spot. Oh, nope, that's mineral. Right there's the crack that you already know of. That one with the hole in the yep. top mm-hmm. So you don't consider that dirty though, right? Pipe, no. Oh, okay. That's pretty clean actually. It's yeah. more clean than I thought it was going to be. Right there's the elbow that's compromised or pushed apart. What we see in a lot of these is you get all the, uh, now there's gravel that got in or mud. Uh, but that's after the elbow, right? Yes. Just a little bit, but we'll mark that too when we come back. What we see is a lot of uh, mineral buildup, and as it dries up, it hardens up. Like shale, I guess, would be the easiest way. Mm-hmm. And then from right here all the way out, I'm guessing it's going to be underwater because the outlet pipe's underwater. Right, yeah. But you know, if we don't have any real holes where it would suck the mud out. Why do we have all the dips? Like when they're cutting the lawn, when they hit that, you know. A lot of that's because when they, uh, where the mud is going in, it's eroding away. Besides that, when the pipe was put in, it always settles. I'm guessing they didn't allow enough time for compacting as it settles and then grade it. They took away the dirt, threw grass in, and hoped the best, but it's always going to settle down. Yeah, because it's, well, let's see, it's 2000. This is 14 years old, so let's say 12 years ago they put the lawn it, in. It, lawn it can out. take several years to settle. Yeah. That being said, as the water runs down, it will naturally follow the outside of this pipe. So now it's, that's water there now. It's yes, it's, it's been underwater since about six feet past that. Uh, the fitting. That yes, the, the direction yeah. change that pulled apart. So what are you seeing on the bottom there? It looked like a, almost like white gravel or something. Uh, I think that's mud, that's shale, sand, yeah. shale, and right now we're at the elbow. If you want to push through and pop out, go ahead. I don't know if you'd be able to push through that hard 90. Yeah, uh-huh. we just saw grass. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that was? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're in the creek. Now watch for fish. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So from that from that elbow down to the water, you don't see nothing. 
saw it very briefly, didn't see any issues. Winter time when there's water in that creek, is it is it is it freeze up or does it stay running? I'm guessing. Gen generally, there's water that's froze up with a little shell on top. I think it would be water underneath that. Okay, yeah. as, as long as it's always moving, it shouldn't freeze. Yeah. But my concern is that one section from the elbow over. But without bringing a lot of fill in, I don't think you can get enough pitch on there to get it out of the water. Yeah. Right. And you, depending on what you wanted to spend, anything's possible. Yeah. But <laughs> it could get quite pricey quite quick. 